India has achieved liftoff for its mission to the moon. Three, two, one, zero. Just a few hours ago, the spacecraft at Chandrayaan 2 left its base in Sri Harikota off India's southern coast. It's the second attempt after a fuel leak forced the launch to be aborted last week. The rocket, which is made up of an orbiter, a lander and a rover, will take about two months to travel to the moon. If the landing is a success, India will become just the fourth country to land on the moon after Russia, the US and China. For more, we're joined by Niha Punia, live from New Delhi. And Niha, India's moon rocket will be traveling to places previously unknown. That's right. Uh, the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, is targeting the southern pole of the moon. Uh, interestingly, in 2008, when the first moon mission was launched by India, its uh, um, orbiter didn't land on the moon, but it did crash land quite close to the landing site that uh, ISRO has identified this time around. And that mission is how the world was given a confirmation that there is, in fact, frozen water on the moon's surface. Uh, and uh, to build on that finding is why ISRO has picked the southern uh, pole of the moon as well. Of course, the fact that uh, it's untouched, it, it's unexplored, and uh, this mission will give India a chance to go down uh, in history as the first country to land there is also a big reason. Uh, but uh, the Indian Space Agency says that its main aim, of course, is to try and uh, uh, understand to what extent is what I is found on the moon's uh, uh, south pole, how usable is this water, and there will also, they're saying, be a study conducted of the craters which possibly hold a history of our solar system. Neha, compared to other space powers, India's space ambitions, they're famously low cost. That's right. We've seen three other countries uh, carry out successful lunar expeditions. That's Russia, China, and the United States. And all of their missions have cost anywhere between $8 billion to about $100 million. That's how much uh, NASA's last mission cost. And uh, this specific mission, Chandrayaan-2, has cost India only $150 million. So a fraction of the cost of the global uh, space programs we're seeing rolled out. And the reason for that is that uh, everything that India has used in this mission, everything has been designed in-house, everything has been built indigenously, uh, which has uh, given India the reputation of being the center for low-cost space technology. And India is hoping to build on that. It's been speaking of commercialization of its space arm, uh, its reputation as a successful launch pad for many of uh, other missions by NASA, uh, China, Russia is well known. It wants to take this technology forward and be a part of the conversation where uh, people are talking about uh, colonizing the, uh, the moon uh, and also possibly using it as a staging area to carry out further deep space explorations. Well, thanks very much, Nea Pune, speaking to us from New Delhi. And um, that uh, rocket is expected to land in the moon sometime in early September.